Welcome back to Sakina's Ridge Homestead. In this video, we're going to be doing some kitchen table craftsmanship and building some low cost, easy to build target stands. Hello, and welcome to our channel. And we're, we're glad, glad you're here. here. Now, tomorrow, our preparedness group is going to have a range day out here, and we're going to need some target stands. Uh, lately, we've been moving them back and forth between our two locations, and since we have the big range here, it seems silly to not have actual target stands. So, we're going to build some target stands today. We normally use the cardboard silhouettes. Uh, this is an IDPA. This is the lo our local gun store carries. And uh, I might as well give them credit now. This design is also from our local gun store. I'll put, put a link to their videos at the end of this video. But these targets are 18 inches wide. Uh, that's your standard width for IDPA and I think it's USPCA or whatever the other des designation is. If your targets are a different width, you can adjust these stands to meet your targets. But Ours were 18 inches. We build these stands out of two by threes. Um, they're a little cheaper than a two by four. And from what I've seen, these tend to be straighter than the two by four. So there's less wiggly when you're, when you're building them. These particular target stands only require two two by threes, eight foot long. You start with one two by three and cut it in half into four foot pieces. Four foot is a little low for a lot of targets but if you raise your cardboard up a little bit, you can still get six foot height on your target. The second two by three, you cut into two 24 inch pieces. Those are your legs. Two 18 inch pieces, that's your cross pieces, which can be adjusted if your targets are wider or narrower. And then two small blocks, I believe these are roughly two and five eighths. They're just a hair wider than the 2x3. Um, when you cut your 24s and your 18, you're left with about a foot left. So you can cut two of these off. You're left with like 6, 8 inches. I was getting uh, four of these out of one in the foot, and it left me with just this little block. So there's very little waste. And if you wanted to, you could actually increase your 24 inch of hair so you'd have all, no waste at all. Once you get your pieces cut, you want to take your 24 inch pieces and your small blocks and find the center. And I've marked the center on all of those. Take a 24 inch piece, put your small block there, lining up your centers. Take your two 18 inch pieces, stick them in there like that. Using your block as a gauge, and keeping them lined up in center. I use two and a half inch screws. This might be fun to do by myself. I put one screw in the end. There we go. And then put one screw in the end of this board. You want to try and keep it both tight against your center block and tight against the board this way. As you get this side done, simply turn it around. Do the same thing on this end. Line up your marks. If you're doing this by yourself, it might be easier to use some clamps. They help hold it in position. The other little issue I'm having is the drills hitting the table, which makes it a little tougher. 
I'm only putting one screw in each because they're not going to go anywhere. Then you move your blocks in a little bit. I use this little uh, one foot scrap piece, stick it down in there, and then squeeze my block over tight. And I'll put a screw in each side of uh, where the block is at. Same thing on this end. Simple as that, you've got a target stand base. You want these tight enough to hold your boards, but not so loose that they flop around. Because in case these get wet, they might swell a little bit, It'd be harder to get in and out. And now you can take your four foot pieces, stick them in each side, and there's your target stand. You can staple your uh, cardboard up top. When you're done using it, you can pop your cardboard out. Take your uprights out, and it stores real nice and easy as well. And as, uh, as use goes by and your uprights get, uh, get some holes in them, they're easy to replace, and your bases are reusable until they start to rot, which would be many, many years. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video on making cheap and easy target stands. I believe these 2x3s were less than $2.50 a piece and it only takes six two and a half inch screws. So they're real nice, low cost, cheap stands. And if you want to, you could, uh, you could cut your uprights longer, but then it would re re require three boards. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and you have a good day.